What's going on guys, Jason Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to a new transfer episode today. The date is going to be Thursday the 5th of March, we have confirmed us to go through as well as the rumours. So just before we get started, if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous episode will be down below in the description box and today's question of the day, what nation do you think will win Euro 2020 this summer? Right, so first up today we have got two MLS transfers and the very first one is that DC United have improved their attacking options, that's by signing former Columbus crew forward Federico Higuain. The 35 year old Argentine is the brother of Juventus star Gonzalo and he is a MLS veteran. Despite him being 35, he has still got a good track record of goals and, like I said before, has been in the MLS now for eight seasons. And next up, a breaking news came on, uh, what day is it today? I'm recording this on uh, Wednesday, so yeah, on Tuesday night, uh, it broke that Tottenham midfielder Victor Wanyama has signed for Montreal Impact. The 28-year-old joins the Impact on a free transfer and he's a designated player on a three-year deal. He did lose his place in the Tottenham squad, so it's probably best for everyone that they get the wages off the books, um, he gets more first team football, and Montreal Impact do get an experienced player. And the next player will be a new addition for FIFA 21, and that is that Manchester City have confirmed they've beaten Barca to the signing of Brazil Youth International, and that is Jan Kuto. He signed from Coritiba in Brazil, and the, the overall details of the transfer according to uh, Diario Sport are that it's a five-year deal, and that will start in the summer transfer window, so in June, and it's a six million euro fee paid up front. But on top of that is a further six million in installments, and there are claims that he is the new Danny Alves. And the next story again about City, this time according to ESPN, is that Manchester City goalkeeper Claudio Bravo is weighing up a summer move to New York City FC. The Chilean will be out of contract in June and he wants to seal a transfer away from the Etihad Stadium. And it's because he wants to get regular first team football again. But NYCFC have pretty much denied this, so there's been no contact at all, and the club isn't actually interested in the goalkeeper. So he probably will be leaving City on a free, but his next club were not too sure who that could be. And now the man that could be replacing him, according to the Evening Standard, is that City are going to promote from within to replace Bravo. USA international goalkeeper Zach Steffen is expected to return from his loan spell at Bundesliga side Fortuna Dusseldorf and he will become Edison's backup. City did sign him from an MLS side about 18 months ago and he spent this season on loan in the Bundesliga and I believe he's got a fair amount of first team football there. The Daily Mail are saying that St. Maximus' future at Newcastle is in doubt, that's after falling out with manager Steve Bruce. So Maxima was dropped for the Premier League draw with Burnley at the weekend and Steve Bruce did say he had a hamstring problem. However, it's claimed the 22 year old was fully fit to play and that's now alerted the likes of Wolves and Crystal Palace to his potential availability. He's one of those players which can be very frustrating to watch because of his uh, overall decision making but sometimes he can generally be unplayable and it's really good to watch. He's an exciting player for sure, can bring a lot of entertainment and I think he do very well at Wolves. Barcelona have identified Valencia midfielder Ferran Torres as a transfer target and this story is from Mundo Deportivo. Barca are preparing to table a 35 million euro bid for the 20 year old when the transfer market reopens. Torres has no plans to extend his stay at the Mestalla beyond 2021 and Valencia may be tempted to cash in before he becomes a free agent. Inter Milan are interested in signing Atalanta forward Duvan Zapata in the summer transfer window and the source for this one is going to be Calcio Mercato. They want the 28 year old to replace Arturo Martinez if the Argentine does end up joining Barca and he's currently valued at around 50 million euros on the transfer market. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Atalanta made it a permanent basis in the January window from Sampdoria and they could make a lot of profit very quickly. AC Milan are thinking of selling Gianluigi Donnarumma to balance their books and this story is from Italian journalist Nicolo Shearer. 
Chelsea, Real Madrid and PSG have already made contacts with his agent, Mino Raiola, and are ready to make a wage offer of €8 million Euros a year to the goalkeeper. Juventus are also observing the situation carefully, and the reason for that is because they're currently unaware whether Gianluigi Buffon will be staying at the club. Bayern Munich and Manchester United are currently seen as the front runners in the race for Borussia Mönchengladbach midfielder Dennis Zakaria, and this story is from Sky Germany. Bayern may look to bring in a new defensive midfielder in the summer because potentially they might be looking to sell Corentin Tolisso and Javi Martinez could also leave the club at the end of the season. A short one from Calcio Mercato is that Arsenal are considering a bid for Sassuolo winger Domenico Berardi. The Gunners are in the market for more creativity and they feel a player with 9 goals and 5 assists in Serie A this season could be a useful addition. And the next story is from Don Ballon in Spain. They're saying both Real Madrid and Atletico are interested in Wolves striker Raul Jimenez. Los Blancos have identified him as a candidate to come in and provide extra competition for Karim Benzema. And um, right now they have obviously got a fair few strikers on the books, but other than Benzema, none are really convincing them too much. And because of that, not only are they looking at Raul Jimenez, but they are considering a number of other possible targets. And the Daily Express do add that another team interested at Arsenal, but Raul Jimenez could be looking for a move back to Spain. And the next story is from Marca. There's an athletic club are interested in a move for Juventus striker Gonzalo Higuain. While the Argentine does not immediately fit the club's Basque-only transfer policy, Higuain's grandfather is of Basque-French origin, so the club could be tempted to make a move. His current deal does expire in 2021, so for Juventus, it looks like they either offer him a new contract, or it could be their last chance to get a decent fee out of him. Barcelona have dropped out of the race to sign Chelsea forward Willian in the summer. The Brazilian's contract at Stamford Bridge does expire at the end of the season, and there has been a lot of long-term interest in him from the Camp Nou side, who did try to re sign him earlier this season. But according to Mundo Deportivo, they have now decided against moving for the 32-year-old on a free transfer. And bear in mind, about 18 months ago, they offered 50 million euros. So from one Brazilian potentially leaving Stamford Bridge, now we have one that potentially could be coming in. So the Express are saying that Alex Tellez of FC Porto, he's rejected the chance to sign a contract extension with the club. Chelsea are very much interested in signing the 27-year-old this summer and the Portuguese club could be looking to cash in on a prized asset. The main reason for that is because his contract does expire in 2021. And a bowler in Portugal do add that the Chelsea target could be available for just €20 million Euros this summer. And um, the main reason for that again is the contract situation and is a much cheaper alternative to Ben Chilwell. Tottenham and Real Madrid are both interested in signing Adama Traore from Wolves this summer, and the source is going to be Don Ballon. The 24-year-old did begin his career at Barcelona, but despite that, he has said previously he would be open to joining Los Blancos. And as for Tottenham, they are hoping that Jose Mourinho can play a big part in tempting him to join the club. And in regards to the Wolves part of it, if they do sell him, they might well replace him with St. Maximin, like I mentioned before. Marco are saying that on the day of their 1-0 win over Liverpool, Atletico Madrid sent representatives to meet with Ivan Rakitic. The 31-year-old's time at Barca appears to be drawing to a close, but Diego Simeone is keen to add him to his squad. Having previously played for Sevilla, Rakitic is believed to be keen to stay in Spain, and reports are mentioning that he's already looking at property in the Madrid area. Juventus have no plans to reignite their pursuit of Napoli midfielder Allen when the transfer market reopens, and the story is from Calcio Mercato. The Bianconeri tried to sign the 29-year-old in January, but they didn't want to pay Napoli's €14 million Euro asking price. Allen's current employers have no plans to drop that price this summer, and because of that, Juve are now ready to move on to alternative targets, who are thought to be Paul Pogba and Sandro Tonali. A story that I forgot to finish a couple days ago is Daniel Sturridge and his ban from football. So it started off the day that he had mutually agreed to terminate his contract with Turkish side Trabzonspor, and then the rumours came out that he might be joining Inter Miami in the MLS. But then just a couple of hours after that, it broke that he has been banned from playing football now for four months, that's after breaching gambling rules. 
So he could well join the MLS side in a few months time, but right now he will be without a club. An interesting story that broke yesterday from Sport Build is that Jude Bellingham, sorry I said his name wrong by the way, he will join Borussia Dortmund this summer. It's said to be a club record deal worth 35 million euros and the 16 year old Birmingham midfielder has already agreed personal terms. It's only my details to be sorted out now and um, it could well be announced in the next couple of weeks. He's a player that has attracted a lot of interest from the likes of Manchester United, Man City, um, Arsenal are involved as well. But to be fair, he's probably seen the progress that Jadon Sancho has made at Dortmund and he wants to replicate that. The Telegraph are saying that Harry Kane will consider his Tottenham future in the summer and the club are facing a battle to convince a striker he does not need to move to take his career to the next level. And Goal.com do say Kane will consider a move to Manchester United. He's definitely a world-class striker, there's no doubting that. And um, he's also won like a lot of individual awards such as Golden Boots. But at his age, so far he's won no like team award, like an actual trophy. And he might be looking to do so sooner rather than later. Muno Deportivo are saying that Paris Saint-Germain superstar Neymar is Barca's number one target this summer. They'll look to fork out at least 180 million euros to re-sign the Brazilian who swapped the Camp Nou for Paris in 2017. Barca did fail to negotiate a deal with PSG for Neymar last year, but they plan to recommence negotiations when the transfer market reopens again. And the final one today is from Corre dello Sport in Italy. They're saying Leon forward Memphis Depay is being eyed for a move to Serie A by surprise leaders Lazio. The Dutch international Depay is out of contract in the summer of 2021 and if a new agreement cannot be found, he may be allowed to leave at the end of the current season. But that guys is going to be it for this video. So if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous episode will be down below in the description box and at today's question of the day, what nation do you think will win Euro 2020? So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time.